Hello everybody, hello everybody, number one doctor channel, today video is about preoperative assessment, which is part of our playlist called short medical notes, in which we will have short videos about important topic in medicine but please do not forget to like and share our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel number one doctor, and join our social media accounts in the links below each video. Our aim is to share the correct medical knowledge for all for free. Share and be shared. Today we will talk about preoperative assessment. Cardiac risk. Ejection fraction under 35 normal is 55 poses prohibitive cardiac risk for non-cardiac operations. Incidence of perioperative MI is very high, and mortality for such an event is between 55 and 90. Goldman's index of cardiac risk, which dates from 1977, is no longer the preferred method of assessing cardiac risk. Functional status, based on the ability to cope with life's demands, is more commonly used now. But Goldman's remains useful for listing all the findings that predict trouble. They are in descending order of importance, jugular venous distension, recent myocardial infarction, premature ventricular contractions or any rhythm other than sinus, age over 70, emergency surgery, aortic valvular stenosis, poor medical condition, and surgery within the chest or abdomen. The examination will give particular attention to the high-risk situations that intervention can improve. Jugular venous distension, which indicates the presence of congestive heart failure, is the worst single finding predicting high cardiac risk. If at all possible, treatment with ACE inhibitors, beta blockers, digitalis, and diuretics should precede surgery. Recent transmural or subendocardial MI is the next worst predictor of cardiac complications. Operative mortality within three months of the infarct is 40, but it drops to 6 after 6 months. Thus deferring surgery until then is the best course of action. If surgery is imperative sooner, admission to the intensive care unit ICU the day before is recommended to optimize cardiac variables. Pulmonary risk. Smoking is by far the most common cause of increased pulmonary risk, and the problem is compromised ventilation high PCO2, low forced expiratory volume in 1 second FEV1, rather than compromised oxygenation. The smoking history, or the presence of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD should lead to evaluation. Start with FEV1, and if it is abnormal, follow with blood gases. Cessation of smoking for 8 weeks and intensive respiratory therapy Physical therapy, expectorants, incentive spirometry, humidified air should precede surgery. Hepatic risk. Two clinical findings and three laboratory values are used to predict operative mortality in patients with liver disease, encephalopathy, ascites, serum albumin, prothrombin time INR, and bilirubin only as it reflects hepatocyte function. The presence and severity of these factors can be combined in a variety of ways. The current favorite system is child class, in which class A has 10 mortality, class B 30, and class C 80. But specific numbers are misleading, because so many other factors influence the outcome. Suffice it to say that a patient in coma with huge ascites, albumin below 2, INR twice normal, and bilirubin above 4 could not survive a haircut, much less an operation. Nutritional risk. Severe nutritional depletion is identified by loss of 20 of body weight over a couple of months, serum albumin below 3, energy to skin antigens, or serum transferrin level of less than 200 mgdl or a combination of the above. Operative risk is multiplied manifold in those circumstances. Surprisingly, as few as 4 or 5 days of preoperative nutritional support preferably via the gut can make a big difference, and 7-10 days would be optimal if the surgery can be deferred that long. Metabolic risk. Diabetic coma is an absolute contraindication to surgery. Rehydration, return of urinary output, and at least partial correction of the acidosis and hyperglycemia have to be achieved before surgery. If the indication for surgery is a septic process, complete correction of all variables will be impossible as long as the septic process is present. Thanks for watching our video and hope to see you again in next videos. Do not forget to see other videos in our channel. With my best wishes.